Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to uh, show multiple checkbox list in a drop down list. So here we have a checkbox list and just convert that checkbox list into the drop down list. So you can see that. So uh, you can see that a multi select list with the checkboxes. Okay. So multi select list with the checkboxes here you can see and here this is the, the simple demonstration right here so it's over so just again just start it again and you can see that the IO output will be shown wait for some times and here we go so add a student like Smith and just I want to select courses of the student that is AI artificial intelligence and the net networking and the mobile computing so here we have AI networking and mobile computing is the Smith courses so just add it and just if you want to add uh, just edit the uh, courses so you can just do like that so everything is okay so it's okay now uh, just just I want to show that how to do this in ASP.NET Core. So first of all uh, the table uh, between the student and the courses and you know that student and the courses in between we have many to many relationships. So the first one is going for the student table and here we have a student table that is ID name and uh, date time in local time date time in UTC okay so uh, here we have a id and the, uh, the name and you can see that uh, here we have a uh, middle table that is the student courses between the student and the courses okay so here we have now just after creating that table now just go for the second table that is courses in the courses table uh, here we have uh, the same id name and the student courses and the courses table so in between table there we have a student courses that is the middle table between the uh, many to many so one to many and one to many between the student and student courses and courses and student courses so here we have id and student id and course id that is the middle table so student id student and course id is course id courses okay so here we go now just remove all such things close all tabs okay so now uh, just to go for the next step that is to create application DB context and here we have a application DB context that is uh, student courses that is the student courses and the student courses we have to just add and also uh, create a mapping between the middle table uh, you can say that by using the fluent API so here we have the student courses that is the middle table and the entity for the courses so uh, has one course uh, in in a and many st uh, student courses with the foreign key student uh, course id and on delete on delete behavior client set turn on i mean to say that when we delete any course then there is a no delete to the related data of the student so if with the student uh, and the student courses and has foreign key that is student id and client set behavior client set null I mean to say that when we delete any student then there is a no uh, deletion performed on the table courses okay so here we go down now the next term to use uh, app settings .json file and create a connection so here we have multi select DB is the database name so you can select here we have a table uh, courses student and student courses just after that you da you do for the migration after migration you can see that here we have courses so just add manually some courses in the table and after that we will update the student according to their uh, courses AI multimedia networking mobile data and data structures so everything is okay now just go for the uh, controller section and here we have a controller and that is the first controller name is the index controller that there where we have a list of student is there so where we have a list of student so respective view will be there uh, like a view index view and here we have 
counts like edit uh, student name like it model dot count and model is the student okay and model is the list of the student so item dot model that is the student item dot name student name and add a student so we'll go for the add a student and item dot id so main controller with the add a student okay so the first thing in the add student where we have a long id okay so when we click on the edit button uh, here we have to check the student id if it is id is null you can say so student dto and what is the student dto inside it here uh, so here we have student dto id name that is the student a list of the courses okay and their respective courses uh, uh, connect with the course ids when we select any courses then course id will be selected so list of the select list item then the main controller you can say uh, student dto model new student dto and list of the long i mean to say the course ids is there id dot has value if it is has value i mean to say that uh, uh, one two three four fives then you can say that uh, it's go for the update okay and it's go for update button i mean to say that okay so if it is not then go for the else model equals to new student dto now model dot drop courses uh, drop down courses you can say drop courses dot select db dot courses dot select new select list item text dot value x dot value dot id so just create a new select list item by using the x x is what that is course so course name dot initialize with the text and course id initialize with the value if it is id is zero then courses is fresh i mean to say if it is uh, updated uh, in the update mode id has value then you can just find uh, first of all get the student with the include student courses with their id value okay now this uh, just i want to select student with the student courses dot to list dot for each uh, so just get the student courses so result course id dot add course ids i mean to say that there we have the course ids dot result dot course id i mean to say that uh, the selected course ids just i want to get and uh, insert it into the course id that is actually added in uh, actually uh, already added in the database table that is selected already and model dot drop courses the drop down courses db dot courses dot select new select list item dot d this this is the uh, here we have the fresh generated drop down list now after that model dot id is student dot id and uh, model dot uh, model dot name with the student dot name okay and student dto you can say so model dot course id is course id dot two array so here we have course id dot two array okay if it uh, if you have some uh, like that uh, any suggestions so please give me when we click on to update button or you can say that add student so model dot id is greater than zero if it is not zero then fresh id is inserted so student dot name model dot name student dot date time utc time if it is if we have some uh, select the courses so model dot course id dot length is greater than zero then course id in the model dot course id student courses dot add directly you can say that a student courses dot add so you have you can say that a list of the student courses so student courses dot add new student course course id and the student id is there so student dot student courses equals to student courses okay and just add to if it is go for the update then just uh, get the student first of all by the tracked entity and just after that uh, student dot student courses dot to list for each that is actually um, added uh, into the database table so here we have student courses dot add result 
okay so for each items of the student courses and there is the updated that is the student courses okay so now after that if db dot student courses dot remove range student courses okay and save changes and after that you have to update these data model dot course ids dot length is zero that freshly data will be updated so first of all remove all the range which is the related to the student id and after that uh, added freshly data okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core but the last thing is the final thing you can do that is and uh, your add student.cshtml file where you can see that here we have a list of list box first of all uh, you can use at the rate of html dot list box for and in which you can assign model model dot course ids that is the selected id and new multi select list you can select you can choose multi select list model dot drop courses drop down courses value in the text and there is the new class file select multiple and id is the course drop down list so here you can select script tag document dot ready course drop down dot multi select so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and if you uh, if you want to get the code so please uh, join the membership and you get the code easily okay thank you very much for watching